Eddie Burris is the recipient of a Special Achievement Award. Eddie was co-writer with Merle Haggard of the hit Okie from Muskogee. He lives in Tulsa. He teaches and participates with school children, and he is lethal on the golf course and in fishing tournaments. Ladies and gentlemen, a special award from us Oklahomans to Eddie Burris. Tony Kai, he invites me down here to play golf with him and he beats me. But he invites me back this morning to do an Oklahoma outdoor fishing show and I met one of the greatest young men that I will ever meet, Dave Wood. But I won his money. <laughs> I beat him fishing. Man, I'm, I'm glad for the invite. <laughs> this is to have great. you. We're going to have some fun. I'm glad for the invite. How about a dollar today for the uh, big fish? All right. Now, it, now you're going to have to sign my dollar when you take it, okay? Because I want your autograph, all right? <laughs> Let's catch some. Well, Eddie, I'll tell you, it's sure an honor to have you here in Muskogee. It's great. Uh, we're tickled this to death to, to have you here. Uh, you know, coming here to be recognized uh, along with, with some great Great stars, Merle Haggard, Patty Page, Claude the Fiddler, Williams. Special Achievement Award from Governor Keating. They say it's the first, the first, the first Special Achievement Award awarded by the state of Oklahoma. Well, that's quite an honor, isn't it? You bet. That's something you ought to, I'm sure you're just uh, thrilled yeah, about. Yeah, it's, it's something that's once in a lifetime. Well, it's well deserved. And then I'll get to see Merle again. I haven't seen him. In, Look at there, look at there, all right. <laughs> Eddie, good job. Yeah, Eddie, I appreciate you catching that little fish. See, I knew that little fish was there, but I'm not gonna catch it. I see. I, I'm just gonna I get see. the big that's one, a buck. <laughs> That's a buck. <laughs> so thank you very much. That's a buck. That's a good job. Eddie, Uh huh. now, you co-wrote, or wrote Oki from Muskogee, isn't that right? Tell me about that. Did well, that just come to you all at once, or no? Uh, we had played, we had played Muskogee about three times, and at the time that that this song come about, uh, Oklahoma was never caught up in all the drugs and campus riots and all that situation that was going on in New York and California and right you know and and we lived in California and up around Berkeley and San Francisco and up in there it was just it was during the flower child days you know back in the 60s you know I was thinking the same thing and you're talking about that time period we uh, we'd played in Muskogee and and Merle and I used to when when we would when we would go to a town and play We'd kind of go and shop around for golf shirts, you know, we'd just kind of close nuts. And we'd always look at Muskogee and it was, it was always clean. And uh, we were on the way to uh, Nashville and Merle had seen a sign and uh, he, he had seen this sign said, said Muskogee 17 miles. And he started writing the song, and he got the first part of it. And I told him, I said, you've got to put something in there, in there about the long-haired hippies in San Francisco and about the, the beads and the Roman sandals, you know, <laughs> uh, because men wear leather boots. And he tied all that in, and in about 15 minutes, he, he had the song done. We came here one night, and we had some equipment. And those of you that know anything about recording and all, you know you have to have speakers. Well, we didn't have any speakers. And uh, we had this eight-track recorder, 
and, and a fellow named Lewis Talley and, and some other people, Fuzzy Owens, and they were out there trying to record this thing, and, and uh, they didn't have no speakers. All they had was the meters. And when we came off stage, Lewis said to me, he said, Hag, he said, I want to say one thing. He said, if we've got this thing on tape, you've got yourself a million seller. I said, if? <laughs> He said, yeah, he said, we ain't, got, we ain't got no speakers. He said, we haven't heard it yet. He said, it looked good going down. He said, everything was about 7.5, <laughs> 7. something like that. He said, there was no distortion on it. He said, we, we don't know if it's on tape or not, but he said, if it is, you got yourself a million seller. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we recorded, recorded it live here, and, and it sold about a million pieces in about 90 days. And, and, uh, and uh, it, there was a lot of... A lot of big record executives had to re eat their words because they said, who in the hell is going to know where Muskogee's at? <laughs> and uh, I said, uh, there'll be a whole bunch of people know after this song comes out. <laughs> we don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. The song was the only song in history to be in two heavenly bodies at the same time. There's one here and one on the moon. In 1972 on Apollo 16, uh -huh. Charlie Duke and Ken Mattingly and John Young took it to the moon with them. No kidding? Yeah. Well, now that was album of the year too, wasn't it? Album of the year, song of the year, uh, number one single. And then Merle, he won the entertainer of the year uh, number one male vocal of the year, number one band of the year, and it just, uh, we just walked away with everything that year. That's impressive. See that right there? I'm going for those aggressive fish in that, in that tree up there. I see. I mean, you might think that was a bad cast. You wouldn't, you wouldn't front end the boat on me, would you? <laughs> hey, you got a dandy. Where's the net? You need a net? No, no. I get him. That's a good fish, Eddie. You got that uh, dollar sign yet? No, you said the first fish. <laughs> you didn't say nothing about the biggest. You said the first. Now that is the kind of fish we're looking for. Good. Eddie, That's this is uh, this is a good river fish. Good quality uh -huh. fish, probably. But you don't get a dollar for that one. Not yet, huh? No. Nope. <laughs> no, you you done lost the first dollar. Oh, that's fun, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, now, I didn't bring you out here to catch crappie. Hey, look at the that's size a, of this crappie. fishing, Eddie. Look at this. this that's is, a good crappie. This is a slab, man. Fish. Look at there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Good fish. Look at there. Now, I'm going to help you with this uh -oh. one. Let me help you. Uh-oh, I think that's the big bass again. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's your fish. That's a good fish. Good job. No, that's not as big as the one you caught a while ago. No. That's a good fish. Good job. Good job, Eddie. Oh. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, man, that's a good fish. Come on, baby. Here, let me give you a hand. Oh. Let me Come give on, you baby. Hand. Come on, baby. Get him out of the motor. Get out of the way from that motor. Now, Eddie, does that fish have you, or do you have that fish? Which one is it? Well, I'm, I'm trying to decide <laughs> which. Come on, baby. Bring it around here. Let me get it for you. Swing around. Oh! Come on, baby. Man, that's a good fish. Oh! Hey, good job. That's a good job. <laughs> I'm going to let you take that off. Oh, are you ever in debt now? <laughs> that's, that, that's $3, Thanks. right? Oh, my. Now that, look at the spots on his tail. Still in style for manly footwear, thank y'all. These and old bad sandals won't be seen. Football is still the roughest thing on campus. And the kids there still respect the college. Wait a minute, hold it. Hey. And I'm proud to be Hoagie from Muskogee. We still wave old glory down at the courthouse. In Muskogee, Oklahoma, USA. Oh, 